So the brain circuits that are activated when we're in love are match those of a drug addict craving the next fix. <laughs> so the amygdala, which is the brain's fear alert system, and the anterior cingulate cortex, which has to do, which is the brain's worrying and critical thinking system, are turned way down. And much the same thing happens when someone takes ecstasy, the drug ecstasy. So activities such as caressing, kissing, gazing, and orgasm cause a spike in oxytocin and dopamine. These are the feel-good, trusting, bonding chemicals. So estrogen also increases oxytocin and dopamine. Bonding occurs more readily in the two, first two weeks of the cycle. After about eight months of dating, the dopamine rush calms down, but the oxytocin continues to be stimulated with a, in a positive relationship. So another hormone um, called vasopressin is, uh, is the bonding hormone for men, and that's stimulated by testosterone. So testosterone also triggers a sexual desire in both sexes, and men make it in their testes and women make it in their ovaries and adrenal glands. So men have an average of 10 to 100 times the, the testosterone than women do. One study found that 8th, 9th, and 10th grade girls who had a higher testosterone level um, had uh, intercourse earlier. So progesterone, which rises in the second half of the menstrual cycle, uh, curbs the sexual desire and acts to reverse the effects of testosterone in a women's system. So males have the double the brain space and processing power um, to sex as females. And this is another quote from Dr. Brizendine, which I like. Just as women have an eight-lane superhighway for processing emotion while men have a small country road, men have O'Hare Airport as a hub for processing thoughts about sex, whereas women have the airfield nearby that lands small and private planes. 